We've seen these situations countless times. SWAT teams at the ready. The situation, tense. Usually when we have a high-risk situation, if we're serving a warrant, a barricade subject, hostage rescue situation, one of the biggest things is we need to gain access inside the building. Deputy Travis Hobright is with the San Diego County Sheriff's Office SWAT team. It's typically his job to go in. It gets bound up in the tracks. That's able to complete its mission and go through the house. Instead of risking deputies' safety, the sheriff's office has a new way to step in and try to resolve these high stakes scenarios. Our quadruped robot can make entry, go inside, go upstairs, downstairs. It can use its various cameras to be able to look around corners. It's got infrared cameras as well as thermal cameras. Yeah, you heard that right. This four legged friend is their newest de-escalation tool. The robot itself has the grabber on it. So we can use that to gain access through the door and then be able to walk through the house. That way the four-legged robot can come into a room and make sure that a barricaded subject is in a danger to themselves, anybody else inside a place, and officers that would have to come in here. A lot of it's going to be used for de-escalation. That's a big thing is being able to get into that high-risk environment without using a person or a SWAT member to go inside and be able to establish communication routes. Hobright tells me communication helps get people out safely. We use the these devices called throw phones. It's a phone that you could throw. Well, we don't have to throw it anymore. We can carry it inside, hand it to the subject, and be able to communicate with them. We can get our crisis negotiation team involved. The robot, named after a fallen canine officer, Irk, can look a little intimidating. The sheriff's office tells me Irk doesn't have any AI or data saving on its cameras, even though it looks like something out of a certain movie about killer robots that took over the planet or something that our armed forces might use. This specific robot made by Boston Dynamics was made for public safety. So there is no way that it can be armed. There's no way that it can use to attack anybody. But the reference as far as militarization, no, we're we're just trying to gather information, gather intel. That's, that's the only thing that we're trying to do. Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News.